Okay, so now moving along, we're going to do uh, Python. So I'm going to make a function called nr.py. And for Python to work, um, there are a couple things that I need to do. Uh, first, if you want to run Python interactively, you can just run Python from the shell here and, and, and run Python this way. Um, if you want to run a script, you can type in Python nr.py like that. Um, Oh, I guess I haven't done anything yet, so um, let me just do print five. Um, there you go, and then it'll it'll run it like that. Um, you can get some nice IDEs like Canopy or Eclipse. Um, those are some nice IDEs if you want to have like an interactive environment. But I honestly just like running things with command line. I'm actually going to do all of these tutorials with command line just so you see it. Um, rather than running Python. Uh, nr.py like this. What I actually like to do is I like to tell um, Linux uh, what version of Python I want to use. And so if I type in print print five like this, I can just type in. I have to chmod it and give it higher permissions. Uh, nr.py. Now I can just do uh, slash nr.py, and this tells Linux to use uh, the Python um, environment. Okay. So uh, what I want to do is uh, first I just want to define um, some of my functions. And so in Python there are no um, there is no end. End doesn't exist. It's a colon and then a tab. Um, so here I'm going to do minus one and then there's no caret as well. You have to do a star star and then I'm just going to return out. And then that's it. Uh, the, the function header here is, is way easier than MATLAB in my opinion. Um, then I'm going to define f prime again um, colon tab out is two times x minus one and then uh, I'm gonna return out okay then I actually want to have the the actual function so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say if name equals main uh, do this so this is the actual execution uh, portion of the code and so I'm gonna just do uh, you know Newton Rapson in Python, and so if I hit NR, it's just going to say Newton Rapson in Python. So the first thing I want to do is I want to grab the uh, input argument. So I'd like to write the code so that I can do this, you know, NR pi 10. Um, to do that, what you need to do is you need to import the sys module, and you can import that module anywhere. And then what you want to do is I'm going to do print uh, sys.argv like this, and that will tell me all of my input arguments. So the first element of that argv is always the name of the function, and then the second one is the input. Now, if I don't put an input argument, it's just this. So really what I want to do is I want to say x0 equals sys.argv of 1. Now, the reason why it's 1 is because Python starts at 0. So if I do print x and I do that, uh, x is not defined. Oh, whoops, x zero. There you go. It says it says ten. Now the problem is, is if I get rid of the ten and hit enter, it's going to say list index out of range. And the reason why is because sys sys.argv has a certain length. So I need to put an if statement in here and say, hey, if the length of sys.argv is less than two, you need to print, hey, not enough input arguments, and then I'm just going to do a, a sys.exit and quit the program. Otherwise, I'm going to print x0. So now if I run the code, there you go, hey, not enough input arguments. If I do 10, there's 10. Now there's one little caveat here. If I do x0 divided by 2, what is it going to say? It's going to say, hmm, unsupported operand types for slash for string and int. 2 is an integer. x0 is actually a string. So what I need to do is convert it to a float. And then I can do it. And then it does 10 divided by 2 is 5.0. So that's just a, 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 little, a little tidbit here. Now after that, the code is almost identical to MATLAB. I'm actually going to pull up MATLAB down here just so you see how similar it is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take x iters and I'm going to put it into a vector. I'm going, to, I'm going to evaluate the function. And so how do you get the last element of, or I guess that's the first element. So I'm going to do x iterators of 1. And I have to use uh, brackets there. Or actually, sorry, x0 of 0. 
Um, let's go ahead and print error just to make sure we got that right. And our 10 should be 81. It is good. Okay, and then I'm going to do while the absolute value of error is greater than 1e minus 5. And again, there's no ends. It's just colon and then tab. And I'm going to do the exact same thing I have here. So I have x current is x iters. And to get the last element, it's minus 1. Don't ask me why they did that. They just did. And then I'm going to say x next is x current minus the function evaluated x current divided by f prime x current x iters. And so now here's the thing. I want to do this append business. So how do I do that? Well, what I do is I take x iters and I use the dot append module and I append x next to it. And then I evaluate the error at the function of x next like that. And then I don't have to do an end or anything. Um, what I'm going to do is at the end of the day, I'm going to print uh, x iters like this. I'm just going to print the whole thing. And so there you go. There's the list right there. That's hard to see. So I'm going to go ahead and go up here and print um, x iters minus 1 like that. And so there is the uh, last element of the uh, of the matrix. Okay. So how do you plot? Um, well, turns out that you can't you you cannot simply type in uh, plot uh, x iters like this. Um, it's not that simple. What you have to do is you have to import at plot lib dot pi plot uh, as plt. And by the way, um, you need to download this. Um, this does not come with Python. You need to. It's a it's a module that you add on, and then you can do plt dot plot x iters and then plt dot show. And then now when you run it, there you go. There's my nice little Python plot there. Um, and the cool thing is, is I can just do, you know, negative 20. And there it is, negative 20. Uh, I can do 5. And there it is. There's my Python script on the fly. Um, I expect there to be a lot of questions. Um, I know I code super fast and everything like that, but just ask away. Um, you know, I'm an, I'm an open book here. All right, so there's Python. So what's next is R. And uh, R, I feel like, is gaining traction because um, it's sort of a statistics program. And so I wanted to see what it was all about. So now we're going to do um, Newton-Raphson in R.